In this video, we're going to do a quick construction of a triangle centroid. And if you don't know what a triangle centroid is, I'll just let you know that it's the point at which, if I wanted to take my triangle and for whatever reason balance it on one point, that is that center of gravity where I can take my triangle and balance it from that one point. All right, so we don't need our algebra section for this construction, so I'll go ahead and close it. We don't need our axis. All right, so now I can make my triangle by going to my polygon tool and I click three times, so one, two, three, and then I close my triangle by clicking a fourth time. Okay, so now the quickest way to get the midpoint of each of these segments is to go to my perpendicular bisector tool, which is underneath the perpendicular, hold on, it is underneath the perpendicular line option. So I click there, perpendicular bisector, and I can quickly get my midpoints that way, that way, that way. I just click on each of these segments here. All right, so we don't really need all those lines here because we're not doing, you know, perpendicular bisector stuff. We just need the midpoints. So I'm going to take my point tool and go ahead and click on that point, this point here. So I wait till they're both highlighted, the triangle and the line. And that point. So now that I have my midpoints, I can go ahead and hide these lines by right clicking on them and unclicking show object. So I'm going to do that for all three of these lines. I just created a dot here. Oh, let's go over here to stop making unnecessary dots. All right, so there we go. Get rid of that too. And let's get rid of this guy right here. All right, so now we have all of the midpoints. And from here, easy stuff. All we have to do is join or vertex with the midpoint that's across. And we're going to do that three times. So all I need to do that is a segment. So I'm going to click segment. And we're going to make that line to that line. And that's called a median. So that's my first median of my triangle. My second median goes here and then across to here. And my final, my third median goes from here and over to here. And as you can see, there is a point of concurrency right here in the triangle. And it is right here. And that is my centroid or my center of gravity.